Dear March 2020, Kamel Kundai. A letter to my March self. Dear pre-COVID Sarah. Dear self from March 2020, um, what truths do we want to uh, remember? The intensity of the coronavirus is about to get more serious than you could have ever imagined. And it's really real, this virus. People are dying in their hundreds of thousands. It's so very contagious that visitors are not allowed inside hospitals. Mate, you're going to get sent home from work because of a pandemic. And you're not going to go back for three months. I can't tell you everything. I can only tell you what you must know. You can sabotage, of course, but the effects are momentary. There's this video by a nurse showing how it's like paint. You touch it, then it's on your hands, on your face, on your phone, in your car. First off, the everyday college middle school stresses you face now, like waking up early for an NC class, are small things compared to what's ahead. Maybe. <laughs> Josh is over there making his bed. Potentially. <laughs> A tiny bit nicer. Just a tiny bit. I'll take it. Hide all the awkward things! I already did that. Like, I put my clothes into paper or something. Life is about to get a different kind of weird. It's going to feel like the end of the world, but only on the internet. That's confusing. There's a pandemic coming. You will panic, but more importantly, you will learn to breathe. The next couple months will be quite a wild ride, full of ups and downs. The world is gonna fall apart and become very unsettling. It's actually really frightening. It suddenly feels like the whole world is contaminated, like you're going to be exposed to the virus. It's a bit like that time we all got gastro at the festival, except that people are dying. Be ready for change. Real change. Nothing you've experienced before. This will be an opportunity for you to grow more than you have ever grown. The good do outweigh the bad, but on the bad days, you're gonna feel pretty terrible. Depression's gonna kick in, it's gonna hit you again. You're gonna struggle. Oh shoot, wait, unmute, unmute, unmute. unmute. You're, you're muted. Oh. There you Hi. go. Hi. Hi. You're just gonna get through it. It's gonna be fine. Um, don't sweat the small stuff and enjoy your time off. You will soon find there are much more important and weighing things than those you feel right now. In the coming months, you will see death tolls rise, jobs lost, and fear and uncertainty spread through the world. Everything's going to shut down. The world's going to shut down. Your hair's not going to see a pair of scissors for three months. That's how bad it's gone. So people are lying in their beds, gasping for air, drowning in their own blood, completely alone, terrified, and dying. I know it sounds dramatic, but here in Gotland, it's going to feel like nothing's even happening. But your friends all around the world are going to be with lockdowns and quarantines. Lots of people are going to die. You're going to spend every day at home because you can't go anywhere. And you're going to spend that time with Laura and Ruben. And some days are going to be great, but some days are going to be really tough. What you are about to face will test everything you are. Your appreciation for real relationships. This will test everything. Probably won't know how to handle any of it on any level, and that's okay. You're not alone. <laughs> anyway, <I'm scared. laughs> we are doing it. What should you brace yourself for? I don't know. I didn't feel like it was too incredibly rough. Um, I actually didn't think it was that bad. The world will go on lockdown, but you will still smile, you will still create, you will still connect. I really hate to tell you this, but you can forget your travel plans this year. You're not going to Glastonbury Festival and you're not cycling through Spain and Portugal. You're not even allowed to leave Western Australia. You will come up with some facing some hard decisions too, but with all sacrifice, there is a reward. Schools will be shut down in pretty much every country on the planet except Sweden. You're going to be home for two beautiful months. Enjoy that time with the kids and being creative. Guess what? You can run a mile. You've lived through worse, and this was fine, um, and this will continue to be fine. Adversity um, is, is just something that we overcome, no matter what. This may seem like a tough time for you, and you will feel sadness like you've never felt. But diamonds only become beautiful gems 
when they have undergone extreme pressure. You're gonna be far more appreciative of the time you got to spend with your parents before you moved to Dubuque. And for the first time ever, you'll actually deeply miss them in a way you never thought you'd experience. Do something for me. Don't let yourself feel so weird and guilty every time you go to the store to buy food. Don't carry this unnecessary rock in your heart. It's going to suck to know what's going on in other parts of the world and to feel powerless. But you don't need to carry that burden. You're not a bad dad. By no means of the word. You've just got to remember, the good outweighs the bad. He loves you, you love him. You've got to remember, this is the most amount of time that you'll have spent with him consistently in the three years he's been around because you've normally been at work or he's been asleep in bed. There's kids in it. Who will we become? Ah, you'll stay exactly the same. You will be able to meet friends and like-minded people from around the world and be able to spend ample time with your family before emerging into the complete world of adulthood. Hi, Mom! Hi, Mom. Hello! This is my madre. <laughs> oh, how are Say you? hello to the million people watching this right now. <laughs> But most importantly, remember that your willingness to care for others will determine the outcome of your future and the future of generations to come. You're going to find some friends in a somewhat unlikely circumstance. So remember when you feel alone, know that in fact, you are not. You'll get through all these upcoming trials because of the people you're connected to through blood. The people you've known since college and the people you've only known for a couple months. A big thing I should say is, get off the phone and computer more often. Please read a book. Keep your interneting to talking to people, encouraging and loving. Stop scrolling so much. See you soon. Don't worry about it though. You'll get through it, and you'll get by. And you've just got your date to go back to work. So it feels like things are going back to normal. At least a little bit anyway. I don't know what the future will hold, but then again, neither did you. Lastly, I suggest that you spend as much time with Brian as you can. He needs you just as much as you need him. Technically speaking, I'm not really allowed to explain that one without potentially messing up my... our timeline. I've said too much. Okay. I just keep moving forward. 